Hey, welcome back to How to Grow as a Christian with Pastor Jimmy Ray. Good to be back here. Praise God. Praise God. Now, in the last episode, I became a born-again Christian. You, you, you showed me the sinner's prayer, and then Jesus came into my heart. He, he did. It was a beautiful experience. Viewers out there, if you saw the episode, you saw me lead Daniel to Jesus Christ. He was an atheist. Didn't even believe in God. Yeah, well, I I actually hated God, but I was suppressing the the belief. You know, uh, I knew deep down that He was really there, but I just didn't think that I could accept. You know, I could accept His love. Well, today, Daniel, what I like to do, if it's okay with you, I think there's an important thing we call maturity. According to the Bible, you're a baby in Christ, and you drink milk. I eat meat. Yeah. So that's what the Bible says. So yeah. I got to disciple you and help you to learn how to pray and read the Bible. Can we talk about things like that? Sure. Yeah. I, I want to learn to grow as a Christian. Right. Praise so God. now I have to learn to pray. I'm here to help you, Daniel. Okay. How do I do it? Praying is a beautiful thing. You did the sinner's prayer a couple of weeks ago when you turned to Christ and you're a Christian. Now you're going to learn how to communicate with your new Heavenly Father. Okay, so I'm going to talk to God. Yeah. He's always going to listen to you. He's there for you 24-7, Daniel. Oh. It's very important and imperative as a Christian that you talk to your daddy. Um, okay, but doesn't he already know everything that I'm well, thinking? Yes, he does. Daniel. He knows everything. He knows how many hairs are on your head. He knows all, everything about you, but he wants you to communicate with him. Even though he knows everything, he wants to have communication, a okay. relationship. Okay. Now, now what do I do? Well, you learn to talk to God. It's called prayer. Some people bow their hands to their head. I don't believe in that. I just talk to him. I go out and walk and talk with Jesus. It's a beautiful feeling. But oh, he, so you're praying all the time. Well, the Bible does say, pray without ceasing. That means all the time. Now, it means to have an attitude of prayer because you need him for everything, Daniel. Now you're dependent upon God for everything. Oh, okay. So God gives me everything. Okay. That's right. Everything yeah. he owns. Wow. So when you have a need, you ask God because Jesus said, whatever you ask in prayer believing, you shall receive. Oh, okay. So, like, if I said, like, I wanted to, uh, you know, fly off of a skyscraper or something. Daniel, Daniel no. you got to use your brain a little bit. But, you know, first of all, it has to be according to God's will. Oh. His oh, will. Okay. His plan for your life. So, when you have a need, I would recommend you learn how to just talk to God maybe five, ten minutes a day as a baby. Oh, and ask okay. God to show you things in the Bible. We'll get to that next time, if that's all right, sure. how to read the Bible. So let's practice praying. I'm going to do a little prayer, and then I want you to do one, okay? Let's pretend like I'm at my bedside at night when I I pray a lot, <laughs> a lot. But today I'm going to show you how to do a simple prayer, okay? Here's what I do, Daniel. Okay. I just go, Lord, Father in heaven, oh, I had a wonderful day thanks to you. And the Bible says, give thanks to you in all things. And I just wanted to thank you for a good day today. And I want to pray for all the sinners out there. Pray that they'll come to Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. See how I did that? Very simple. Oh, okay. So, uh... Why don't you try? Think of something that you need in your life that you might desire. Okay. Um, uh... Go ahead. God, um, mm -hmm. well, uh, I'm kind of hungry, so could use some lunch... And um, and then I might need to take a nap later, so I'll, well, I'll pray for those things. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, excuse me. I know you're a baby in Christ. I got to really emphasize this. There, the sleep part and the hungry part. Well, I think you can kind of figure that out. But I'm kind of thinking other things, like maybe you just want to be happier that day, or if you have a problem. God fixes all problems. Oh. He's God. Oh, okay. So, so like at work. I, I want to be happier. So, there like, you go. Uh, 
to- total euphoria. So, so God, give me, give me euphoria. That's a good request because okay. the Bible says the joy of the Lord is thy strength. Oh yeah, it's your strength. Okay. Be happy in Christ. I think you've learned something today. Okay, well, well, thank you, Pastor. It was great to be here again. It's always great to talk about Christ. And I'll be praying for you that you'll grow in the stature of Jesus Christ every day. So uh, thanks for watching and keep growing as a Christian with us. Amen. Praise God.